Let's take a tour a little bit of what you guys are seeing right now uh, in the markets and whether you're see sensing a little bit, maybe the early signs of a, of a pullback. Do you see that, Brian, at all? Well, good afternoon, Tyler. Always great to be on with the uh, awesome Ron and Sana as well. Uh, I would say this. Too many <laughs> people back. are looking for a pullback. Uh, when people stop talking about a pullback, that's when we're going to have a pullback. When people stop talking about a bubble, that's when we're going to have a bubble. Things are not uh, linear for long. We have to slow down here a little bit. Now that the earnings parade has stopped as well, it's not surprising that things have slowed down. That doesn't mean we're going to have, have a correction. I think the market is transitioning to an earnings-driven market versus this multiple-driven market. You know, by mm -hmm. the way, that's very fundamental, very healthy, and needs to continue. So we're still bullish, and we would continue me, to be buying the dips in this market. So let me get you to, 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 to untangle something that tangled my brain a little bit in my notes, Brian. I'll turn to you, Ron, in just a minute. You say the return to normalcy in 2021 is a fallacy not going to happen. But you remain quite bullish. You don't think inflation isn't much of a threat. You think stimulus is going to be there. The Fed has said as much that they're going to be there through 2022, or maybe even longer. So why do you discount the importance of a return to normalcy in 2021? It's a great question. Normalcy doesn't mean that stocks are going to go down. Uh, normalcy means uh, that we're going to get back into normal living and normal societal, and that's obviously not going to happen. That's just common sense. And we said this in November when we published our year ahead piece, Tyler. We think it's going to be much of the same type of market in terms of momentum, rhetoric driven, emotional. But the biggest difference we believe 2021 versus 2020 is clearly a broadening out of the rally, more of a stock pickers rally. Mm -hmm. Correlations have fallen, and we think you want to be more thematically and fundamentally driven and not so concentrated in the Mafangs, of course, which was talked about in the hit right before we uh, spoke here. Mm -hmm. Ron, why don't you jump in here? I sense that over the past few weeks, uh, you have turned from relatively more cautious than some of the other folks we hear uh, from on CNBC, uh, but, but still cautious, but a little more hopeful. Am I, am I, am I reading you right? No, you're reading me right. And, and I think you talked about the yelling high. I think we're going to get the Biden bid on infrastructure, which is already there. I mean, you know, Bob was talking about, you know, some of this stuff being priced in. I'm not sure we have fully priced in what might be a bipartisan move to, to spend a lot of money over time on infrastructure. And so we're seeing the deers and the caterpillars and those other basic industrial uh, companies do quite well. And that rotation from, from large to small, from growth to value, from U.S. to international is, is still working. Japan's at a 30-year high. Asia, generally speaking, coming off the Lunar New Year, has been doing pretty well. Well, Germany's done fine. So, you know, all of that's working and continues to work, Tyler. Listen, I'm still, yes, cautious about a correction with the 10-year note yield rising as quickly as it has to 135 with inflation break year evens both five-year and 10-year now at more than a one-year high um, and, and about 2.2, 2.3%, depending on which one you're looking at. I, I do think that might give the market pause, generally speaking, at some juncture, but a correction not the beginnings of a bear market. But yeah, I mean, economically, with the vaccine mm -hmm. news coming out, much more stimulus coming in and more to come beyond that, and I think a reluctance probably to raise taxes in a meaningful way down the road, there's just a lot of ammo left that I probably didn't fully discount into my own scenario. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.